one point, traders have dumped net bullish bets at the fastest pace in five months. So what's behind this? Are people just bored of gold, Peter? Well, look, you know, the stock market is going up. Everybody is optimistic. Everybody wants to get in on the action. So I think a lot of people who were buying gold as a hedge, they think there's no reason to hedge. I mean, we've never seen so much optimism about the market. The market has never been this expensive, while at the same time, so few people are worried that it might go down. So to the extent that people buy gold as insurance, uh, investors think they no longer need insurance because this time is different and that everything is going to keep going up. Plus, then you also have the sideshow with the cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, uh, you know, look at the explosive move. Bitcoin is up over tenfold this year. A lot of other cryptocurrencies are up even more than that. So to the extent that people think that Bitcoin is digital gold, which it's not, but to the extent that people think that, and so that some money that might otherwise buy real gold is buying this fool's gold instead, then that is taking away some of the demand for gold. But, you know, I do think that once gold really starts to go up, it could end up being the pin that pricks uh, the Bitcoin bubble. Because I think when people who have been buying digital gold decide that they want the real thing, because now the real thing is going up and they have a lot of paper profits in, in, in digital gold, uh, they're going to try to make the switch. And that's impossible. I mean, it's, it's possible for a, a small amount of money to get out of Bitcoin, but there's no way a significant amount could get out without imploding the entire market. You know, there are people who think that maybe gold and Bitcoin move together. They don't. They're, they're more negatively correlated. And so if you're in Bitcoin, the last thing you want to see is a big move up in the price of mm -hmm. gold, because that could be the pin that pricks your bubble. Well, I just want to dig a little dip deeper here. I'm happy you brought this up because people just love pitting uh, gold versus Bitcoin. I know you've even taken part uh, in debates uh, debating exactly this. So what's your greatest argument in gold's favor when people compare it to Bitcoin? Well, I mean, gold is a real element. Right. Gold is a tangible commodity that has unique properties that other commodities don't have, that other metals don't have. And so gold has been valued uh, throughout human history. And it was valued as a luxury good, as a valuable metal long before money was invented. But once people came up with the idea of money, gold was the perfect commodity to use as money. Uh, but Bitcoin was invented less than a decade ago. And in prior to its introduction as a cryptocurrency, it had no value whatsoever. I mean, nobody used Bitcoins for anything. And in fact, nobody can use them for anything today. They don't have a real world value. The only thing that you can do with a Bitcoin is give it to somebody else or sell it to somebody else who thinks the price is going to rise. Right. So that is the value. It's not a, a store of value like gold is because Bitcoin has no inherent value to store. It's a speculative asset uh, that people are hoarding because other people are buying it. But the idea that it's scarce the way gold is scarce is nonsense. Yes, there is a finite number of Bitcoins, but there is an infinite number of digital currencies that can be created that are as good as Bitcoin or in many cases better. Many of the cryptocurrencies that have come out since Bitcoin are faster and cheaper to use uh, than Bitcoin itself. And Bitcoin is already forked twice. You have Bitcoin Cash and you have Bitcoin uh, Gold. So there you have tripled the supply of Bitcoin branded digital currencies. There is an unlimited number of forks that you can take. So they can be spinning off all sorts of Bitcoins into the future. There is no limit to the number of other cryptocurrencies that can be created. Uh, so that you, know, th th you can saturate the world with supply. See, right now, the demand for cryptocurrency seems to be growing faster than the supply because so many of the people that own them are hoarding them. But at some point, the people who are hoarding them are going to want to cash out. The supply is going to continue to grow and eventually overwhelm the demand. And then the price is going to implode. And, you know, there's an old saying about how markets, you know, they take the stairs up and the elevator down. Well, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, they took a rocket ship up. So if they're, if they're going to go down faster than they went up, and markets always go down faster than they go up, I mean, this thing is going to implode. And so the people who don't get out in advance are just going to get trapped in this thing. 
uh, because when it goes down, I mean, this thing could fall 80 or 90 percent in one day. Well, I have a feeling this debate will continue uh, in 2018. Uh, uh, just to wrap now, Peter, uh, you said you expect higher gold prices. We tend to see a January bounce for gold and the mining stocks. But do you have a certain outlook what prices we can expect when we start the new year? Well, look, I think the price is going higher. There's no way to know exactly how much higher, how soon. But a lot of it depends on you know, the, the markets and the traders figuring things out. I mean, once people really come to terms with reality on the true state of the U.S. economy and what the future direction of Fed policy is going to be, there's going to be a mass exit from dollars and a scramble to buy gold. And, you know, there's not a lot of gold available for sale. And if a lot of the big pension funds and portfolio managers decide that they just want to have a small allocation to gold as opposed to no allocation at all, I mean, you're going to see the, the highs from 2011, that 1900. We're going to go through that like a hot knife through butter. Peter Schiff, Bureau of Pacific Capital, thank you so much for joining us today and happy holidays. Same to you.